Let us see. Hello? Are you here? Do you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. All right, very yes. good. So how I can help you, my friend? Yeah, so the thing is, I the last few months, I watched a lot of content from you and from uh, Sam Shamoon. All right. And yeah, well, th first off, thank you for all the information that you guys give. So I was raised in a Muslim household. Okay. I never paid attention to Christianity at all. And thanks to you, I am looking into it more. So, yeah. And the few questions that I have is more on the some of the signs from uh, Islam. So science? one of the things... You mean science or si sign? Science, science uh, you mean? Science. Science, okay. No, science. Okay. Uh, no, not, not science. I mean, uh, like a proof, like like the, they, the things that they use in order to prove that it's the truth. All right. Okay. So I haven't seen a video that you discuss on this. So the thing is like the minor <laughs> signs of the end of times. Like what? Of Islam. Um, there were a couple of things. So one of the things that they... Uh, gave was that the in the end of times that the Bedouins would raise up um, big buildings and they would compete over well, them. Well, the Bedouin, they have big building before Muhammad. This is called Yemen. Go check it out. But also with regards to the rest of the world, so that they were that much bigger. The same, same, same time, the Bedouin, my friend, he's talking about is the Arab Bedouin, not the Bedouin who live in China. He's talking about the Bedouin, you know. And same time, same time, if this is true, then yeah. the end of the times would happen since they have those buildings. This is the sign of the end of the time, right? Did it happen? Same time, uh, can you read for me the hadith about this, uh, uh, like what this hadith says? I don't know the number from the top of my head. Okay. I can check it out. Is it, does, it, uh, uh, does it count many things or only this thing? So this particular hadith, I don't know the the one that says this. I just saw like a, some analysis online. I don't know like the exact reference to it. Yeah. Well, the hadith, as I know, it count many things, and this is supportive from the sign of the hour. And you will find the second we check them uh, uh, out, we will find uh, many things doesn't make sense and they are stupid. Let us uh, let let me let me go and find some of those hadith. Yeah. Okay. And I will put it for you on the screen. You, you see my screen? Um, wait, just a second. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, but it's... Wait, just, All right. No, it's still on uh, Harut and Marut. Okay, now it's going to refresh and it will be with you. Okay. All right. <clears throat> In the same hadith, it says that from the signs that uh, if we read here, let us see. Yeah. Do you know Arabic? No, not at all. Okay. Uh, the bonds women give birth to her own master. <laughs> so this is the signs of the, the, the this has happened thousands of years before. There's many kings, in fact, you know. Mm. <laughs> They are born, you know. I mean, what this guy is talking about, this is a sign. So, the born women give birth to, his whole, to, to her own master. But isn't it, this is the case for every king who slept with the women she is as a slave? And then the king, or the, the son of the king will be a king. Isn't it most of the kings of the Roman? Many of them, they were sons of, of a company, like a, a woman she is a slave. So, what does it have to do with the end of the time? So, this is what happen at the end of the time. But this happened even before Muhammad, after Muhammad, in the time of Muhammad and later after. So Muhammad is an idiot. In fact, in fact, uh, uh, most of those Arab, most of those Arab, they are sons of their own slaves, which means the slave, the son, he is a son of a slave and then he became a leader because he's a son of his father. The father is a... Uh, uh, let us say a tribe uh, a ruler or etc so this is very normal thing to happen then he said and then you will find uh, that the barefooted and naked uh, poor shepherd competing one another on the construction of the higher building uh, if this is about the Bedouin who they are around him you know, Muhammad, he lived in the time of Yemen, is exist. And they are, all of them, they are shepherds. They say what they do for a living. Some they do farming. 
and they have high buildings already, five, six floors. Yemen have very old buildings, and they are going back even before Muhammad time, and they are high in, in, in the, and they were competing with each other. So if this is the true, secondly, this is against Muhammad. Let's say this is talking about the Arab today. But when the last time, when the, when the Arab, they start having uh, high buildings. Sorry, what do you say? When the Arab, they start having high buildings. Uh, the last century, I believe. Uh, but this is when everybody start having high building, correct? Yeah, but if we look at the highest ones in the world, like those who are more in the, like Dubai, Qatar. Uh, uh, okay, Dubai, but like uh, no problem. But this is even built by, not even by the Bedouin. The Bedouin cannot build. It's not by, it's not done by the shepherd. It's done by the European. All the engineering is used, is your, you know, yeah, what, uh -huh. what, what they do in Emirat. Emirat have almost zero citizen. If you go in Emirat, you will find, you will walk in the street, you will find, you will see 500 people, and then you will find one local. That's it. So what is the benefit of those 500 versus one? But it's not like the, it's not, I believe, the emphasis on the employees, but it's more about the ancestors of it. Like the ancestors of no, the No, it says they right? are, they are the one who will do that. They are the one, not somebody else. He did not mention that their servants or their slaves or their employees. He said they will do that. They are not. They are not. They are not the one doing it. Same time, if this is true, then this is the end of the time. So what's happening? What, what happened? Same time. What do you mean? What happened? What happened? Nothing. What is the end of the time? Is it, this is a sign of the ah, end of the time? I thought it's towards the end of the times. I thought like it's a sign towards. Okay, uh, I will period. go with you. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I will go. I, I will show you because if Muhammad he knew the signs of the day of the like when the time will come, then we just mentioned that uh, uh, he said soon the Messiah will come. He will come, he will descend between you, and he will break the, uh, the cross, uh, put down the jizya, and kill the pig. Did you see I that? Heard of it. Okay. Yeah, I've but heard. did he say the word, the word is liu shikna? The Muslim translation, even the Muslim translation is saying soon. You're right. Okay. So if this is a sign of the day of judgment, because remember, when, when Jesus comes, this is that's it. Jesus, Jesus will be the judge. That's it. It's it. Okay, it's, this is the end. Mm -hmm. This is the end. So all those things happen already before Jesus. So, but but Muhammad he said, "Liu Shikna," almost here. Let me show you another sign of the day, end of the time. Oh, but just if I can interrupt for it. Sure. Like you say soon, but the thing is, isn't it in general also with other religions that they say soon, but it doesn't mean no, no, no. Like he said in Arabic. Year. This is a translation in English. "Liu Shikna" in Arabic is not soon. It's it's it, almost here. It's not soon. This is the Muslim translation. But, but like they're even almost here. If if we go with that translation, it's still not. An okay, that's why I'm not. That's why I did not stop. You know, let's continue. In the Quran, chapter fifty-four, verse number one, it says, "The hour has a drawn near." The fact mm. it says the word "iqtaraba," "iqtaraba tisaa," "iqtaraba tisaa." Iqtarabat is so, 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 so close. And the moon is split ascender. So the moon is splitting is what? Is a sign of what? Of the end of the time, correct? I would assume, yeah. yeah. Okay. This was 1400 years ago. I see. But what I mean to say is that if you compare that, that period uh -huh. to like uh, how long the universe exists or how long the earth exists, like it's in relative sense, it's not that okay. long. That's but, what I think. But, but that, you see, that means Muhammad, he lied because he should not use that word soon. He can say, it will happen. I mean, Arabic language is very rich in words, you know. I do not need yeah. to say the word iqtarabat if it's not soon, you know. It's not, it's not like, like right, almost. Uh, we can go and we can see more. Uh, 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 prophecy, Muhammad he have uh, tons of uh, prophecies as an example, the Muslim they claim that Muhammad even he knew that the Arab they will uh, they will conquer uh, you know uh, Constantini, right? Yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah. How we know that this is even true because the hadith is written 300 years after Muhammad and how we know that is even this is what uh, what what happened. But let us go uh, together and see. Uh, you will see that Muhammad he claimed 
that the Roman, they will become the majority of mankind. I heard Allah Messenger saying, the last hour would come when the Roman would form the majority among people. Uh, the screen hasn't been refreshed yet for that. No problem. This is Sahih Muslim, very authentic, 2898A. Is that what's happening now? That the Roman, they form the majority of mankind. 2898A, you said? Yeah. Ah, I see it in your screen. Never mind. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, perfect. Is it true that the Italian government they announced that the population of Italy is declining in a massive way and they are encouraging people to have more children? Which yeah. one? Which one is bigger in population, Bangladesh or Italy? Yeah, Bangladesh, obviously. Indonesia or Italy? Yeah, Indonesia. Egypt or Italy? Egypt. Yeah. So how the Roman they will become the majority of mankind? Isn't it? Um, and you are a Muslim, supposedly. Isn't it the Muslim? They are proud about their number. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. how the Roman they will become the majority and then the Muslim they try to fix it they say to you oh he meant the Christians read carefully he did not say even the word Christian because in the Quran the Quran call always the Christian Nasara never called them Roman never the Roman is the Roman the Christian is the Christian the Quran used the word Nasara so he said the Roman will form the majority among the people so Muhammad he made a false prophecy again we can give you more uh, false prophecies. Very powerful. 